What's up guys, Mason the Brock Henderson here with a Let's Play of Final Fantasy XV. So we're going to start off our Let's Play series with Final Fantasy XV for a few reasons. Uh, obviously this is a Final Fantasy, it's not the newest one, it came out a while ago. I actually did play the original version of this, but this is the Royal Edition. So I know that a few things have been added for gameplay purposes. I feel like they added a couple of story things as well. So I figured I'd check this out, partially because it's almost like I'm playing a game for the first time because I don't remember much of it. I remember a couple of the main characters, a few of the story beats, but not much. So I will be able to give some real reaction because I don't really remember a lot of it. But also because I have played this game before, I wanted to start here because if I were to make any mistakes, this being my first Let's Play that I've ever done, I'd rather do it on a game that I've already played before rather than a completely new game where I want to catch all of my raw reactions for it. So that's what I'm hoping is this series can sort of give me a chance to work out some of the kinks, figure out some of my strengths and weaknesses that I can either improve or grow upon in future Let's Play series. So that way, when we get into some of the games that I haven't played before, that I'm going to be experiencing for the first time, I can just focus on enjoying the game and really capturing how I'm feeling in that moment. So anyway, with all that being said, let's hop right into it. So I will play on normal, just so it's not too simple for me. I will go ahead and do the tutorial. I'll probably skip through most of it just because I've not played in probably about a decade. I don't remember exactly when this game came out. That adorable little thing. I want to pet it. So, finished up the tutorial. Uh, I am a little curious about the mythos of Final Fantasy XV because it's one that I definitely do not remember a lot of. I'm going to hop into that real quick. So first of all, Lands of Eos. Our story takes place in the land of Eos. At present, the world is divided between two warring states. Controlling a majority of the world's lands is the military mighty, militarily mighty Niflheim, an aggressively expanding imperial war machine. The Kingdom of Lucis continues to resist the Empire's advances with magic. The crown city of Insomnia stands proud as the Kingdom's last bastion, but the Empire has already made inroads on the outlying territories, including the primary regions of Laid, Duskai, and Clain. I don't know if I pronounced any of those right, but it's fine. The Six and the Oracle Old tales tell of six gods who have stood of watch over Eos since antiquity. It is said they now slumber, conserving their strength, waiting to awaken upon the coming of a plague known as the Star Scourge. She most pure of faith is the Oracle, a daughter in the line of those said to commune with the Six. Blessed by the Astral Gods, she calls forth the power of Eos to heal those who are suffering and afflicted. Her devotion to helping all those in need is an inspired reverence for her among people from all over the world. Okay. The Magic of the Lucy. The crystal is the defined cornerstone of the Kingdom of Lucy. Or Lucis, I don't know. Well, I'm sure they'll say it at some point. The stone has a will of its own and channels its sacred power through the Ring of the Lucy to the monarch who bears it. Monarchs in the line of Lucis have the innate ability to conjure magical weapons. A handful of close attendants are also afforded access to this, this self same power. The magical barrier known as the Wall has long kept the Empire at bay, and thereby maintained the peace, yet not entirely without struggle. Sustaining the Wall imposes an immense physical burden upon the King, but to let it fall for even a moment would be to invite total annihilation. I hope you guys are liking my narrator voice. Eos is plagued by hordes of demons, vicious nocturnal creatures of various forms that strike fear into the hearts of even the most seasoned hunters. Demons are denizens of the night. The more predatory among them are drawn to the roads after dark. People now dread the setting of for the s dread the setting of the sun for fear of what monsters might be lurking in the shadows. In recent years, the demons have grown in number while the nights have grown longer. 
The correlation between the two phenomena is yet unproven, but scientists persist in their search for a leak. Okay. So with that, I think I'm just about ready to go ahead and hop into this. In a time unknown, only a prophecy keeps hope alive in the people's hearts. When darkness fails the world, the King of Light shall come. Four brave warriors begin their journey, prepared to fight. What awaits the four, however? They do not know. The Tale of the Chosen King, Savior to the Star. Not this. Thanks, Pronto. Stay down. We'll keep him busy. Knox, over here! Quickly, yes. before he strikes again! Oh, I'm trying. Here comes! Thank you, Gladiolus. I got your back. Here you go. Let's go! For the fall. The decreed hour is come. Set forth with my blessing, Prince Noctis. Thank you, Your Majesty. Take your leave and go in the grace of the gods. Right. Well, princes will be princes. So much for royal protocol. Not like you had to deliver a formal address. Your Highness! What now? I fear I have left too much unsaid. You place a great burden on those who would bear with you. <laughs> You're one to talk. I ask not that you guide my wayward son. Merely that you remain at his side. Indeed, Your Grace. We'll see the Prince to Altissia if it's the last thing we see. Yeah, what he said. Hate to break this up, but Kor's got the motor running. Drados, he's in your hands. And another thing. Do mind your manners around your charming bride-to-be. Your majesty as well. Try to mind yours around our esteemed guests from Niflheim. You have no cause for concern. Nor do you. Take heed. Once you set forth, you cannot turn back. You think I would? I need only know that you are ready to leave home behind. Don't know about you, but... I'm ready as I'll ever be. Take care on the long road. Wheresoever you should go, the line of Lucis goes with you. Okay, so Lucis. Got it. Walk tall, my son. What did you just call me? Chapter 1, Departure. Prince Noctis Lucis Callum sets forth from his homeland with his three main ret retinue in tow. His destination at Altissia, the capital of Accordo, where he will formalize the union of states through his marriage to Lady Lunafreya of the imperial province of Tenebrae. Let's do it. I think we can forget about hitching our way there. Thought people were friendly outside the city. Yeah, you can only go so far on the kindness of strangers. 
You're just gonna have to push her all the way. I've already pushed myself to the brink of death. You get up. <sighs> Come on, car isn't Ow. gonna move itself. Ow. Sheesh. Uh, I thought the car was supposed to move us. Wouldn't that be nice? Can it? Ready? Steady? Really? Push! I'm pushing. Oh, R2. Okay. I do vaguely remember this back and forth being pretty enjoyable the first time I played it. Probably, I, I don't know if I'm going to have to cut this part out or not for copyright purposes or just mute the game sound for it. But I remember there being a lot of, I think, more purists of the Final Fantasy franchise who are like, cars in Final Fantasy, how dare they? I'm sort of mixed on it. Uh oh. Hey there, y'all kept a girl waiting. Now, which one's mm -hmm. the prince? Aha! Uh -huh. Hello, your highness. Congrats on your wedding. Not hitch just yet. Lady Luna Freya's groom to be here in Hammerhead. Apologies for taking so long. <laughs> you best save your apologies for Papa. Well, that makes you. Sandy. Sid's grease monkey granddaughter. Roll her in while I'm still young. Didn't your daddy tell you? She's a custom classic, not some beat up old clunker. Prince Noctis. Uh, yeah. Prince. Like they took your old man and kicked the dignity out of him. What? You got a long way to go, son. And that slack jaw's getting you nowhere fast. She's going to take a while. Y'all get her in and run along. <sighs> Y'all heard him. Let's get moving. Right this way. Now, we play the waiting game. Uh, never liked that game. Never any good at it either. All right. Yeah, so while I kind of understand on some level why people might be upset, you know, because I, I mean, I'm a part of fandoms too. I understand whenever they change something up that feels like it's kind of a, not necessarily a slap in the face, but almost like they're going against what came before. I can kind of understand, but at the same time, every Final Fantasy has been so different. So I don't mind them sort of modernizing one of them. And it kind of puts Final Fantasy XV in its own little niche <laughs> group, being the one where you go on a road trip, basically. But I still remember really enjoying this first time I played it. And I mean, you just look at how massive this game is. Really love the open world aspect of it. And again, I do remember the camaraderie being pretty fun, as well as the fighting being pretty enjoyable. All right, what's up, Cindy? Y'all ain't never been out this way before, have you? Go on, have a look around. This'll make sure y'all don't get lost. Well, might as well make good use of the extra time. All right. Whoa! They got Ebony out here! Oh, Ignis is gonna flip! Wait, uh, what's a kill? I got a feeling our money's no good here, Noct. Bet you Ignis came prepared, though. Let's ask him. Enough for room and board. Where, where is he? A moment, knocked. We've expended the last of our funds on the repairs. I suggest we confer with Cindy. Broken down and flat broke. Adding insult to injury. Old man's in for both after charging us that much. Okay. Yeah, let's pay him a visit. Cindy. Hello. She ain't gonna be ready for a while. Y'all need something? 
Uh, ask for a discount. A uh, bit steep for a simple tune-up, don't you think? Oh, now I get it. This must be what Papa meant when he said he was going to teach them boys a lesson. Told me he ought to have y'all take care of some ornery varmints that have been causing a ruckus around here. I'd be happy to pay y'all for your services if you're up to the challenge. How about it? Well, so much for finding an easy way out. Thanks a lot, Papa. Spend ability points to power up Noxus and his friends. Acquire new abilities in the Astral Sphere from the Ascension menu. All right. The BCR is now available. Blah, blah, blah. Dossiers. Data log. All right. Ascension. Use ability points to activate nodes on the Astral Sphere and acquire new abilities to aid you on your journey. Earn EP by leveling up, completing quests and strategic ops, or by impressing friends in conversation. So I think Analyze is a good place to start. Just since I get the enemy's weakness right off the bat. But don't okay. go running around after dark. The demons are liable to rip y'all to shreds. Here, this ought to be enough for a place to stay. Just between us, though. Don't tell Papa. Thank you, Sandy. Okay. Okay, so it looks like I got some accessories from, I believe, getting the Royal Edition. All right. Protect a piece of jewelry renders the entire party impervious to magical friendly fire. That's not bad. Vice for Noctis accelerates attack bar replenishment rate. Freezes the Armager bar. Accelerates the Armager bar, but freezes the tech bar. Scroll sheet music containing a song of jubilation that provides additional AP for earning an A plus in time outside of training. Finesse. Rate at which fallen foes leave behind items of value. Vice that enables Noctis to sprint and hang without expending stamina. Increases maximum HP. Okay. Uh, I like that one just because I like not using up stamina. Um, I'll go ahead and put the Ring of Resistance on as well because I also like that. Also a fan of dropping more items. And since Prompto has the least amount of health, I'll give him the Bronze Bangle. It's time. Gladio, come on. Gotcha. All right, and we're running. Looks like we found our first targets. Ready up. Hey. You got all those arms at your disposal. Use them. That wasn't so hard. It takes two. Pronto, you rang? Gotta love it. All right. Excellent work. On we go. Sweet. I like riding a bike. They are gonna know what hit them. Let's do this. Is a good defense. Ah! Right, here we are. Chop chop. How about this? Let's clean him up quick. Not on top of it. You like that? Solid. Okay. All right. We'll be done in no time. Straightforward so far. So, uh, where are we headed anyway? Nowhere until the repairs are done. Then we head for Golden Key. Then after that, we hop a boat, and before you know it, lover boy's hitched. Wait for car repairs, then wedding bells in the air. Got it. Almost there. Give it your all. Yeah! Hey! Hey, not! One strike to catch him off guard! Don't wear yourself out like that. Take cover and yeah. rest up. Pronto, you're up! You're mine! Biggie! My plan! I'm impressed! <laughs> nice. Mission complete. Alright. Who could this be? Hello? Hey, it's Cindy. How goes the hunting? Actually, we just finished. That's great, because I got one more hunt for y'all. Only this time, it's for a person. Fella named Dave went off, and we ain't heard from him since. Reckon he staked out a spot in an old shack nearby. Old shack? Uh, oh, got it. We'll take a look. 
All right, Dave, we're coming for you. And then we're gonna haul your ass back to prison. So, what did Cindy say? Needs us to find some Dave guy. He went missing? Not missing. Said he's holed up in that shack. Oh, food spot. Yields ingredients for cooking. Let's go see what's over here then. Ooh, a laden pepper. Mmm. I do remember the food in this game looking absolutely delicious. Alright, Dave, you in here? We're gonna have to haul you off kicking and screaming. Mutant Dualhorn Siding. Codename Bloodhorn. Characteristics Red Tusks, extremely violent, outstanding bounty on Saber Tusks in the area. Knocked. What? Get out of here! You okay? <sighs> we are now. Spoke too soon. The hunt is ours. See ya! The Prince of Pain! Get off me! Get off me! This one's just for you. Mention it. Okay, alright. Knocked! Everyone out! Uh Prompto, leave the bad puns to me, please. Okay. Hey, what about the shack over there? Well, let's go check it out then. Not yet. I've got a plan. Okay. Huh. What are we looking at? Okay. Blue markers indicate points you can warp to instantaneously. Locate the blue marker on the windmill and point This creature to is it. known as a saber tusk. It skewers prey with its tusks, extracting game from the safety and comfort of burrows. Thank you, Ignis. Noctis will recover HP and MP while hanging from high ground. Warp strike a distant enemy from the position to receive a damage boost. That's a bit heartless. Yeah. Ah! All right. Hey, who's out there? Well, and look who's in here. The man of the hour. Dave, right? <laughs> Been looking for you. <sighs> Didn't mean to cause y'all any trouble. I've been stuck here on account of my sprained ankle. Yeah, something funny about them barmits. I gave them hell, but couldn't finish the job. Still one mean mud about. Well, y'all don't look much like hunters, but what do you say? Put that puppy to rest for me? You know, do it for a price. Sure, we'll do it. Well, for the right price. Y'all got guts, that's for sure. Let me tell you where I last saw him. Okay. Phew. For a second, I thought you were going to forget to ask for cash. <laughs> I would never forget the cash huh. prompto. Okay. And we're running. Okay. What's up? It would be wise to rest up before we set out. A formidable foe awaits. Prepare for this encounter by resting at the nearby haven. Ignis will look, cook a status-boosting meal for the party. Ah, the meals. Good idea. In that case, let's find a spot to make camp. The hunters are really out in full force around here, huh? So they're the new crowns guard or something? Similar, though technically a civilian outfit. They've definitely seen a lot more action than we have. Uh... Is it cool that we rock Crown's Guard outfits? Be worse not to. They made them especially for us. Even got a sweet insignia on them. In the Crown's Guard, your attire identifies you. So wear it with pride. Camp at Havens to enjoy a status-boosting meal and a good rest at Tally XP. We will camp. Let's call it a day. I'll see what I can whip up. All right.
Yeah, I don't know about you guys, but uh, I don't feel comfortable sleeping with all four of us inside that one tiny little can tent. Mm. Ignis uses ingredients to prepare meals at camp. Acquire new recipes to expand Ignis's cookbook and the variety of bonuses available. All right, so we got flame roasted toast, increase attack by 10. Toasty rice balls, increase max XP by 50. Um, croc madame. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Croquet madame, maybe. Uh, attack by 30. Attack by 20, maximum HP by 50. Veggie medley stew. Crispy cheese pizza. Ooh. Attack by 100, 100. Enable sprinting without expending stamina and prevents poison. Mm. That looks good. I think, though, I'm going to start with the veggie medley stew. Just for the attack and HP increase. Mm. Look at that. Look at that stew. <laughs> All right. So level three. Prompto is documenting the journey in photographs. Review the pictures he takes and save his best snapshots. Share snapshots on social media and so your friends. Oh yeah, I totally want to do that. Totally. Like a father to her. Ever since they got back, Sid's been the only one looking after her. Rather more than a middling mechanic can handle. All things considered, I'd say she turned out okay. Like any girl, you just need to treat her right. Treat her wrong and Sid'll stuff his wrench where the sun don't shine. Take care of the oh. car and it will take care of us. Yeah, the car. Anyways. All right. Elemency, fire, ice, and lightning magic requires elemental energy to cast. Absorb energy from deposits found near havens and in other places around Aos. Um, actually, I'm going to go ahead and get all three of these around the campsite. All right, so I got 70, 77. All right, I'll go ahead and give Prompto first shot. Boost the link strike damage. And give reflex to Gladiolus. I'll get air step. Do light phasing. All right, go ahead and get their first techniques for all of those. Okay, that looks like all I can get for now. Noxus and his friends each possess their own unique skills. They become more proficient as they gain experience in their respective areas of expertise. Noctis catching fish, Gladiolus exploring the wild, Ignis cooking at camp, Prompto taking pictures. We'll deal with that a little bit later. Craft spells using the elemental energy you've collected, then equip magic flasks to use them in the field. Adjust the amount of energy or add a catalyst while crafting to increase the spell's potency or add an effect, such as poison or multicast. Review your history to quickly craft more of the same spells. Ah. <sighs> Sometimes I wonder if we'll ever sit inside that beautiful car again. Sitting most of the day was pretty nice. Napping was even better. Over there! That's it, right? Huh. That's a dual horn? Yes, but not your run-of-the-mill breed. We'd best make quick work of it. Alright. See how this will go. Wait a sec. What? Scared, big guy? You ought to be too. Things vicious. You sure? Looks tame to me. Yeah. Look out! <laughs> yeah! Show him who's boss! Oh, nice one. It's not over yet. <laughs> Ready for round two. Well, here we are. Bring it. Your friends can perform special techniques. Right. <laughs> Don't die on me. Hey, Ignis! Instructions! I'm in Gladio, do it! Bit off more than we can chew. Nice work, Gladio. Done. Smash. Nice work. Done, boys. We're in the whole stretch. Alright. Not too bad. 
I'll give you that. Ring, ring. Hello. Hello. Hey, Dave just called and said he's safe. Thanks for finding him. Okay. Nice work, y'all. By the way, the old girl's looking good as new. Oh, while I got ya. If y'all want to fix her up before you roll out, let me know. That's right. Dad said something. Said he left something in the trunk for me. Sure. Sounds good. She'll be waiting at the garage. Gotcha. So, who's up next behind the wheel? Ignis should take it and never let go. It helps that he can keep four eyes on the dash. <laughs> I couldn't even keep one. Not sure I'd do any better. Put me in the driver's seat. Good. Because I need the leg room in back. What type of food we got here? Bird beast egg? Nice. <sighs> It's only so far a man can walk. Our Crown City upbringing didn't prepare us for this. Uh, pretend you're walking to the car. It's rude to keep a girl waiting. You better apologize. Uh, uh, what is that? What? Uh oh. Uh. A live hurricane. That thing's like half bird, half storm, half airship. You realize that's three halves. Well, it explain its size. <laughs> Awesome in every sense. Okay. I assume that will be important later. <laughs> Seems very odd for us to just stop. Just to focus on a bird that's not even going to attack us. Or, I guess, wyvern. I don't know. What do we got here? Howdy there, partner. Okay. We can get some ingredients here. Nice. We can get a repair kit. Hmm, a run-of-the-mill set of car repair tools. Not compatible with the regalia, but could have some use. Well. Much appreciated. Auto parts. Hammerhead sticker. Ooh, memories of Final Fantasy IV. I'll take that. And Final Fantasy VIII as well. I'll take that. Okay. Uh, anything we can sell here? So it's saying it can be sold. Typically, whenever games tell you that something can be sold, it means it won't have any other use. But I'm going to keep it just in case I can't use it for something else. Just all the auto parts I have. Okay. Thank you kindly. You're welcome, partner. We'll see you around. Let's get back to the car. Sorry about the wait. Ain't she pretty? She's almost too pretty for the road. She's back. We should all get a picture with her. All the more reason to ride with care. Oh, and before I forget, would y'all mind making a little delivery for me? Sure. Why not? No, not at all. Perfect. Thought you'd say yes. So I already put it in the trunk. Well, that's there rude. There should be a motel on your way to Galden. If y'all wouldn't mind giving that to the owner, that'd be swell. Grandpa like grandkid. <laughs> now that she's all polished up and ready for the road, would you care to take her for a little test drive, Noct? Let's take her for a spin. Sure. Why not? And I needn't remind you to exercise caution. Dishes. Dishes lets you review the recipes you can make, the ingredients they require, and the boost they provide. Dishes. Don't have any of those yet. Bestiary. Bestiary lets you review detailed information on previously encountered enemies. So the Reaper Tail. I, I like the fact that it actually gives you Noctis there as kind of a size comparison. That's cool. There's all of its stats for later. Saber Tusk. Weak to Ice. Got it. Bloodhorn. Dude, this thing's huge. Ooh, this is very weak to fire, apparently. That would have been nice to know. <laughs> Noctis Lucis Kylum, son of King Regis. Or Regis. I don't know. And 114th heir to the Lucian throne, though he was chosen by the crystal to serve as the savior of this star, an injury incurred 
As a young boy deprived him access to the full potential of his innate power. With his father's blessing, he sets forth from the crown city of Insomnia on a road trip with his three closest companions. Their destination, Altissia, where Noctis is to wed the oracle Lunafreo Nox Florette of Tenebrae. Leaving the shelter of the Citadel for the first time enlightens the prince as to just how unknown he is outside the castle walls. Gladiolus Amicidia. Eldest son of House Amicidia, sworn protectors of the crown, Gladiolus had expressed an avid interest in the martial arts at a young age, later sharing his knowledge with Noctis. As a boy, he spent many days shadowing his father Clarus at the Citadel, officially joining the crown's guard at the age of 18. When the crown prince departs for his wedding, Gladiolus serves as his primary protector. A consummate outdoorsman, Gladiolus knows the ins and outs of roughing in the wild, a skill that serves him well on the friend's royal road trip. Ignis Scientia Son of House Scientia, a family of royal retainers, serious as he is studious, Ignis enters into Noctis' services at the age of six, caring after the crown prince from that day forward. On the road, he acts as a caretaker for the entire crew, driving the car and balancing their books. He also monitors the group's nutrition, efforts, efforts, ugh, I cannot speak right now, effortlessly preparing exquisite meals, the result of many hours of culinary practice. Prompto Argentum Common-born classmate of the Crown Prince, Prompto forged a friendship with Noctis after a fateful encounter with Lady Lunafreya's lost dog brought them closer together, and the two have been inseparable since. In preparation for the long road trip ahead, he practiced handling firearms under the tutelage of Crown Guard veterans. The proper, the pauper to Noctis's Prince, Prompto makes up for his lack of pro makes up for his lack of royal prestige or combat prowess with his upbeat personality, lifting his comrades' spirits when the going gets tough. He can almost always he can almost always be found with his camera in hand, snapping shots and capturing memories of the journey. Regis Lucius Lucis Callum, 113th monarch of the line of Lucis and father of Noctis, a strong and sapient ruler, Regis channeled the power of the crystal to conjure an enormous barrier and shield in the and chilled the city of Insomnia. Sustaining the wall took a toll on the king, however, slowly sapping him of his life force over the course of 30 years. At present, Regis's condition has worsened to the point he can barely walk without aid. He still managed to send his son Noctis off to his wedding with a smile on his face. Let's go and hop into this thing. Time to go. All right. Hang on, let's put the uh, roof down. Yeah. Hammerhead is like no garage ever. You know? One would expect no less of purveyors to the crown. <sighs> I'll miss it once this road trip's over with. Huh? There's no reason you can't pay them a visit anytime you please. I'm sure Cindy will be glad to look after your car. Oh, right. So, that's what this is about. If you need, I could always lend you the regalia. Whoa! <laughs> uh, thanks for the offer, but once we're back in the crown city, I think I'd better score my own wheels. Okay, so it looks like I need to turn left and then follow that road straight on. So Final Fantasy IV was the one that I grew up with. Um, I played, it was actually Final Fantasy II on the Super Nintendo. But this music definitely brings back those nostalgic memories. We'll park well, here. I'd say that's far enough for today. Might be wise to leave the driving to me until we found our bearings out here. That's rude. I thought I drove pretty well, Ignis. So shut your mouth. You all came all the way out here to deliver the goods. Well, thank you kindly. We'll take it out of the trunk, so you all just sit tight. Hmm? Umbra, bringing us this. Had a boy. A dog can really track a scent. Certainly knows how to find us. How do you always know, boy? Okay, Ignis. Just a sec. I thought the bad puns are supposed to be Prompto's territory. Nice flower. It's the same kind we sewed our crowns from. Oh yeah, sill blossoms. So, hmm? I 
have a favor to ask. Take the notebook with you when you go. Sure. That's not all. I want you to put something in the book and send it back. Adorable. It's come time for me to leave Tenebrae. Um, let's see. Finally going to see you after all these years? Make it nice and sentimental? Guys, could you please turn around when I write this? Uh, feel a little uncomfortable with you all just standing over my back. Writing love letters. All set. Take care out there. I know. You're not gonna tell me. Then don't ask. What was that about? <sighs> you don't say. Now that our work's done, let's see ourselves to Golden. My dogs are go currently going nuts at something. Hold on a minute. Alright. I think this will actually be a good place to end things here for now. I've been playing a little over an hour, 20 minutes. I know at least 15 of that was taken up by uh, the tutorial stuff. So I'll probably cut up a lot of that. I don't know exactly how long I want these videos to be. I know definitely don't want it to be over an hour and a half for sure. But I figure starting out, you know, I'll just record for somewhere between hour and 15, hour and 30 minutes and just cut it down, see where I'm landing on time and uh, just sort of find good places to call it wraps and then move on from there. But with all that being said, though, this was the very first video for this Let's Play. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to really digging into this game a little bit more and sort of remembering everything that it has to offer as well as where the story goes and all of that fun stuff. But yeah, I hope you guys are looking forward to this series as much as I am. If you are, please leave a like and subscribe for more Let's Plays coming soon to the channel. Uh, I do plan to eventually move these to their own channel once I start to get a little bit more dug into it. But for now, please keep checking out these videos. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.